Hello everyone, this is Running On Empty Food Review. Well, hello ladies, gentlemen, and everyone watching. Welcome one and all to this newest edition of the Running On Empty Food Review series. I'm your host, the Report of the Week. This is the biggest twist of 2021 by far, uh, easily. This is groundbreaking. I kid you not, nothing like this has ever been released before from Taco Bell. This is a release so momentous that the entirety of humanity has been, it's really been forced into an existential crisis and a debate unlike any other has ensued. Taco Bell has released the chicken sandwich taco. The chicken sandwich trend continues it's actually, I can't believe that it's still going, quite frankly. Every place is still doing the chicken sandwich stuff. And Taco Bell said, you know what? We're going to just, we're going to cross the line here. We're just going to do it. You know, we're brazen. We don't care what happens because of this. We're just going to do it. You know, we're going to do it, they said. They're all, they're all pumped up. They're excited. And they did it. The mad lads actually did it, I tell you. You see, Taco Bell has released, again, the crispy chicken sandwich taco. And here's the question, and like I was saying about existential crises, this is the epitome of it right here. The crispy chicken sandwich taco. They have a question for you. Is it a chicken sandwich, or is it a taco? And apparently, even though the name, I think, just kind of gives it away, I think... If you were just to look at the name, Crispy Chicken Sandwich Taco, you would be able to tell that it's li it's likely a chicken sandwich themed taco and uh, not the other way around. Because, I mean, they're calling it a taco, so it it therefore would be a taco because it's the chicken sandwich taco. Um, but pretending that there's more substance to that question than just that, uh, Taco Bell is actually, as, as part of a promotion for um, this item. I think they're actually hosting a series of debates to try to figure out if it's a chicken sandwich or a taco, I kid you not. Uh, what is it exactly though? So it features a, a white meat piece of chicken. I think the chicken filet, a white meat chicken filet. It's marinated in jalapeno buttermilk for flavor. Then it is coated and fried with a crispy tortilla chip coating. And then it is drizzled with creamy chipotle sauce and it's on a flatbread. Now, with the flatbread, you can then say, well, is it really a taco then? Because it's not in a tortilla or a hard shell, etc." But they're calling it a taco. It's in the name. So I'm just going to call it a taco. I guess it is what it is. You know, you can, if you want to say that it's a chicken sandwich, say it's a chicken sandwich. If you want to say that it's some really weird sort of a uh, gyro, I don't care. You could say that too. You could call it a pizza. Uh, really, I just want to find out if they gave birth to a monster here or not, and uh, we'll find out, you know? Some of these sorts of items, you know, they do make me a little uneasy. It's like they're going so far, this thing, it's either going to be really good or really bad. And I feel like there's no room for any sort of middle ground with these sorts of releases. Uh, it actually came in a very special bag. Um, you could see it came in this bag here. I feel like it came in uh, maybe like a, a Dollar Tree sort of bag, but you're not even paying a buck for this. You're paying way more, so we'll, we'll see what it's... We'll see how it actually turns out. Um, price for this, mind you, for one of these crispy chicken sandwich tacos, the price is $2.49. Uh, for two of them, you're paying $4.49. So you know what's on it. No need for any more notes. And I also got... Some fire sauce because you never know. This is the size of it. Um, I'm not gonna lie, I already am worried a little bit. I am, I'm, I'm not gonna kid you. I am a little worried um, because you see the size of it that it actually is quite small compared to what the images portray. Um, but it does come with the exclusive branding here saying that, you know, it's a chicken chicken sandwich taco and uh well let's open it and let's see what this thing looks like is it a chicken sandwich is it a taco what is it who knows oh and the other thing i actually forgot that i ordered it this way 
you can get two derivatives of it. You can get the spicy version, which is what everyone's interested in, or you could get the regular version. I got the spicy version, and all that is, it comes with everything, but they add a few jalapeno slices, and that's it. Um, the regular version doesn't have any jalapeno slices. The spicy version does, but that's the only difference. And uh, in terms of the chicken sandwich trend, there's no price difference, mind you. But uh, with the chicken sandwich trend, I know everyone likes the spicy ones. I do too, so didn't want to overlook that. I mean, looking at this thing, I would say that it's a it's a uh, a taco. It's more. It, it's not an ordinary taco, granted, but that's what I would call it. I wouldn't say that this is a chicken sandwich, you know. That's what it looks like right there. I'll even adjust the light a little bit so you could hopefully get a brighter view of it. Um, all right, there's the chicken filet. You can see the chipotle sauce right there, the jalapenos, and the flatbread. Uh, it is small, though, granted. It is quite small. Again, you could see in terms of size, it's not very big, you know? Not huge. It's not as big as, like, a chicken sandwich would be. I'll get a, a thumbnail shot right here. And I'll get one like this, too. And I'll get one smiling. But that's what it looks like, so... You know what it looks like, I know what it looks like. Let's find out if this tastes good, because it certainly is inventive. I'll give him credit for that. So let's try it. The uh, crispy, what are they called? The crispy chicken sandwich taco from Taco Bell going in. Hmm. Well, it's interesting. It does raise a question, and something that I'm going to have to try out, really, after I get this point across. There's spice to it, all right. I'll tell you that. The spicy version... Um, definitely does pack a punch, more, the, more so than some of the spicier items. As a matter of fact, I do have to go to the water for this. But it made me ask a question to myself. You see, as I'm trying it out, first thing that I can taste is the spice. I can taste that chipotle sauce, which there's a good amount of it. You could see the ratio of the chipotle sauce to uh, everything else in it. Um, definitely a good amount. You can see the jalapeno in there, right? Very prominent, very pronounced. We already explained that the, the chicken itself is marinated in this jalapeno likewise. Two things that I noticed, therefore. The spice and just how chewy the, uh, the flatbread that it comes in is. It is very spicy. I gotta gi I'll give them credit. They actually released a spicy item that's spicy. And, um... Hats off to them on that. Yeah, you know, a lot of the times, you know the way it goes with a lot of these places. I say something spicy, and, you know, you know that it's not. Um, so to actually have a little bit of, of legitimate, authentic spice here, that is a, a sincere compliment. But that did raise a question, and here's what I was getting to. With all this spice, with all the sauce that it's smothered in, with the jalapenos, you name it, can I taste the chicken? Can I really taste that chicken? Can I really assess the actual quality of the chicken fillet, which is the most important thing here. No, I can't. Is that intentional? Maybe, maybe not. So, I'm going to deconstruct this. I'm going to take the jalapenos off. I'm specifically going to go for this end of the chicken right here. I'm just going to take a bite out of that, because I just want to try the chicken and verify what that tastes like. 
because the spice is so prevailing otherwise. Well, I was able to get a nice bite of the chicken there, and um, I'll just show you a real quick cross-section um, right here. There you can see it. Uh, the chicken itself is, uh, look, I'll be honest with you, the chicken isn't quite, <laughs> it's not top-of-the-line chicken, I'll tell you that right now. And uh, I'm glad that the amount of spice that's on this thing is there. Um, because without that spice, I guarantee that I would sit here and uh, I would not be a fan of it one bit. You know, there's some items granted. The quality of the item by itself, the core principles of it, it's awful. But you add a few things. You add a few sauces. You add some, you know, whatever it might be. With a few adjustments, you could take something that's utter garbage and make it into something decent. That's what Taco Bell was able to do with the uh, crispy chicken sandwich taco, um, especially the spicy version. I'll just give you a heads up. If you want to get this, it's a novelty. I know that. Um, just get the spicy version. You're going to be doing yourself a favor if you do, um, because that spice definitely makes it, it makes it tolerable, and it makes it a little interesting, because the chicken by itself, it wouldn't be enjoyable. I'll just be straight up with you. Um, the chicken is way too salty, it's, it's rather dry. Um, there's just not a lot of substance to it. Again, I just bite in and it's just dry and just really, really salty chicken. And uh, you can kind of taste a little bit of like the tortilla chip coating, but not that much. And, um, you know, it's like there's a little bit of a crisp to it, a little bit of a crunch. But again, all that I notice is just how salty the chicken is. It's just so, so salty. And, um, and just this dryness to it also. So if I were just biting into that and just eating the chicken by itself, again, without any of these sauces, without the jalapenos, without any of that, I'd be sitting here and I'd be saying this is, you know, one of the worst chicken items or chicken sandwich items or chicken tacos, etc., that I've ever had. Uh, the saving grace, on the other hand, is that sauce, is that chipotle sauce, the jalapenos. If you want to talk about something coming into the rescue here, uh, this is the epitome of it. And the addition of that sauce, the pairing of the spice, the moisture that the sauce provides here um, is, is the redeeming quality. Because otherwise you've got this garbage piece of chicken in this tough uh, flatbread, and that would have been something that I would have given probably a 1 out of 10. But you add the sauce, the flavor, that it, all the things that we've already discussed, as well as the spice of the jalapenos on it, and that will easily bump it up to... Um, it's not perfect. It's not, it, you know, it's necessarily something that I would get again. I'm doubtful of that. But at least it makes it tolerable and um, most certainly edible and more enjoyable. So it bumps it up, I'd say, to a 5.5 out of 10. You know, from that, like, 1 out of 10 range, the addition of the sauces and everything definitely bumps it up. And the other thing that was a little bit of a disappointment with the chicken itself, you couldn't really taste that it was marinated in the jalapeno at all. You could taste the jalapenos that are physically there, but if you just bite into the chicken, it's like, what are you, what are you talking about? I don't taste that. So, again, if you're going to get this, for goodness sake, get the spicy version. Everything else, there's no hope. So get the, uh, get the spicy version. Definitely makes it much more redeemable. It's not perfect. It's a novelty. But get it. You know, take a picture of it. Show it to your friends. Say, oh, is, it a, is it a chicken sandwich or is it a taco? You know, maybe try to start like a heated debate and see, see where it goes. And, um, that's a really bad idea. Don't do that. And, uh, just go from there. But, uh, yeah, get the spicy version. That's my recommendation. Um, at least there's some nice spice to it. But if you don't, good luck. That's all that I could say to you. So today we tried out the, uh, spicy chicken sandwich, or the crispy chicken sandwich taco, the, uh, spicy variant of it. And that's all that I have for you. So, tried it out. And there you have it. I'm your host for the Report of the Week. Until next time.